In this video, I'm recording the worked answers for practice test A, and that's test two, grade 11. And these are the topics that will be in test two. So the first question says find the median. And the first thing you need to do is to rearrange the data and make sure that we start from the smallest number to the biggest number and cross them off so that you don't miss anything out. The smallest number is negative eight. Then we have negative six. Then we have negative three. Then we have negative two. And then we have zero. And then two. And then seven. And then we cross them out, one from each um, side, from the beginning and the end of the data. So in pairs. That's one pair. That's two pairs. And that's the third pair. And you can see that the median is negative two, the number in the middle. This question says the summary data for the variable t are the sum of t squared, the sum of t, and the total frequency. Find the standard deviation of y, well it should say for t, to three significant figures. The standard deviation is the square root of the sum of t squared divided by the total frequency minus the mean squared. So t bar is the mean. So the first thing I would do is find the mean. The mean is the sum of t divided by the total frequency. 250 divided by 25 is 10. And after that, I can find my standard deviation. The square root of 8200 divided by 25 minus 10 squared. And you put that into your calculator. I would start by putting the square root first, then the fraction, and then minus the mean squared, and you get 15.099. And I want it to three significant figures, one, two, three, put my line there. This is a nine, therefore it rounds the zero up, 15.1. Of course, any number here that is five or above, all of these numbers, they round up. And then this question says, by finding dy over dx, show whether the curve y equals 2x cubed plus 5x, uh, where x is an element of all real numbers, is increasing, decreasing, or neither. So your step one is to find dy over dx. 3 times 2 is 6, and then it's x squared, because we take 1 from the power, plus 5. Now you can reach your conclusion and then explain why, or explain why and then reach your conclusion, which is I what, what I will do. x squared is always positive, or is positive, for all values of x, whether x um, is positive or negative, when you square it, it will be positive. Then, when you multiply by 6 and add 5, it will remain positive for all values of x. Therefore, this is an increasing function, always increasing, because it will always be positive and dy over dx will always be bigger than zero. Question four says the marks for some boys in a test are summarized below. The median is nine. Now the median is this line here. So that is a contender. This is not because this is eight, so that's out. This is, the median here is five, so that's out. The median here is nine, so that's still a contender. Then I look at the lowest mark. The lowest mark is five. Well, you can see the lowest mark is this point here. They're both five, so they're still contenders. 
And then it says the range is 18. The range is the highest, uh, take away the lowest. So the highest is 25 and the lowest um, is 5. So that means the range is 20, so that's definitely out. And you can see that the only one left is the last one. Now just make sure you check. Uh, the range is um, 18, so that's 23, 1, 2, 3, and that's 5. So the range 23 minus 5 is certainly 18. Um, upper quartile is 20, yes. Um, and interquartile range, well the interquartile range is the upper quartile, this one, which is 20, upper quartile 20. Take away the lower quartile, which is that here, and the lower quartile is 7. So that's 20 minus 7, which is 13, which is what we want. So our answer is this one. And then the last question says, for the following curve, find the gradient at the point with the x coordinate 3, so x equals 3. Because of this square root, you need to rewrite y. y equals 5x squared plus 7 to the power of a half. Now this is the chain rule, but the easiest way to do this is to differentiate the bracket. So um, if we say um, that will be at 10x and then we multiply it by the power times a half and then times the bracket itself and you take one from the power so this becomes negative a half. A half times 10 gives us 5. So this is 5x times the bracket, 5x squared plus 7 to the power of negative a half. And that is your dy over dx. Now we want to find the gradient, so we want to find the value of dy over dx when x equals 3. So you need to substitute x equals 3, 5 times 3 times 5 times 3 squared plus 7 to the power of a half. And you can put that into your calculator. 5 times 3, and then we open brackets. 5 times 3 squared plus 7. And then I close my bracket and it's to the power of negative and you can write it as a fraction or as a decimal a half is 0 0.5 and it doesn't really ask for um, uh, a particular rounding so you can write all the digits on your calculator or you can round it let's say to two decimal places so 2.08 to two decimal places and that is the end of um, the short test 2 and practice A.